they will be finding the x and y intercepts given an equation. Okay? And the equation that we're going to start out with is standard form. We know that the standard form is AX plus BY equals C. So let's find the first one. So if I gave you 2X plus 4Y equals 12. What I'm going to do, since this is in standard form, and the reason why this is in standard form because you have your AX plus BY equals C. What I'm going to do I'm going to solve two equations and if you have not watched the video on on solving the equation or one step equation please watch that video and you'll understand exactly what I'm doing okay so I have my my equation in standard form and, and this is really simple um, this method is really simple okay um, I'm going to cover up one of my terms, one of my x or y terms. So I'm going to cover up my 2x. That's going to leave me with, sorry about that, with 4y equals 12. If I cover up my y term, that equation is going to be 2x equals 12. So now that I have two equations, I'm going to solve both equations. I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So y equals 3. I'm going to solve for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So x equals 6. So therefore, my y-intercept is 3. And my x-intercept is 6. So if I need to graph that, On my x line, I'm going to put a dot on 6. And on my y line, I'm going to put a dot on 3. And I'm going to extend my line. So therefore, there is my line. And I was able to draw my line by using my x and y intercepts. Okay. Let's try another one. I have negative 3y plus 5x equals negative 30. All right, I'm going to cover up my first term, my y term, which that'll leave me with y. 5x equals negative 30. I'm going to cover up my x term. That's going to leave me with negative 3y equals negative 30. Now I just need to solve both of my equations. So x equals negative 6. Now I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. So y equals 10. So, and if I wanted to graph it, so my x-intercept is negative 6, so I'm going to put a dot on negative 6. My y-intercept is positive 10. 
So I'm going to put a dot on negative on positive 10. Here's my y-intercept. Here's my x-intercept. Now if I wanted to, I could draw my line. And I'm going to. And there are my x and y intercepts. Let me let you try one. Negative y plus x equals 5. If you will please try that one, please. Okay. So I'm going to cover up my, my y. That's going to leave me with x equals 5. Then I'm going to cover up my x term. So my x term is 5, but my y term, I still have this negative next to this y. I need to get rid of this negative right here. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 because we know there's a little 1 right there. We know there's a 1 right there. So y equals negative 5. So my x term is 5. My y term is negative 5. So if I wanted to, I could graph it. And I will. So my my x term is 5. So I'll put a dot on 5 on my x line. And on my y line, I'll put a dot on negative 5. And I'll connect these two. Oops, missed it. And there's my line using my x intercepts. All right, that's it for this video on um, using my um, x and y intercepts to draw my line. Please visit me at mathamoon.org. And I will see you next time. Bye.